is all about food and today I'll be showing you a very easy recipe for a very decadent chocolate mousse. For this recipe, you're going to need the following. Two cups of whipping cream. I'm using Nielsen. 35% whipping cream. Nine ounces of semi-sweet chocolate. If you want to use a combination of dark chocolate and milk chocolate, that would be fine. Six tablespoons of butter. A big bowl. And where you're going to serve it. I'm going to serve it in four ramekins. So first of all, you need to chop your chocolate. So from this point onward, you have a choice. You can either put this over a double broiler or you can put it in the microwave uh, for 30 seconds first and then keep mixing and then just give it 10 second bursts from that point onward. So right now we're gonna put it in the microwave. Okay, so the chocolate's all melted now together with the butter. So you just have to set that aside to cool. So now we're going to come to the other main ingredient of this chocolate mousse, which is the whipping cream. Again, you have another choice here. You can whip it yourself, which is a little bit time consuming but you can also use an electric mixer which is what I'm going to use I almost forgot what you want to achieve here is just soft floppy peaks not too hard because if you over mix it it's not going to harden really well So what I just did is I put the chocolate in the bigger bowl. You have to fold in the whipping cream into the chocolate, not the other way around. So you wanna fold in like a scoop at a time. See, this is what you want. good really light chocolate mousse so what you want to do at this point is grab your ramekins okay so I've done all eight ramekins and filled them with chocolate mousse to the brim so right now so now you have to put them in the fridge for about an hour. I recommend if you want to serve this to your guests, you can do this about two hours early to have time to prep everything and chill it in the fridge. So the chocolate mousse just came out of the fridge and do you guys want to see what it looks like? No? Yes? Okay, so here it is. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below about what you want to put on your chocolate mousse. Maybe some orange zest, maybe some strawberries, maybe another dollop of whipping cream. I don't know, it's all up to you. And subscribe to our channel for more videos like these in the future. I'm Monica and this has been Life in Ajumet.